All right, now. Oh, yeah, I want to address this. Our pod Miklos story again. Uh, seems that a few people have emailed me and on Twitter also contacted me saying that they were disappointed and they were mad at me for what I said about his suicide and about the gay porn industry and all that. Look, um, tough cookies. I mean, look, I say what I say, and it's all based on my own experience. And, of course, based on things that I read, I try to verify things as much as I can. I do my homework, and I understand there are some people out there that may not have the same experience as I have or may not read the same things that I have read. No, it's not the Internet. It's not stuff like that, you know. And my work in the gay community, I have many connections to many people of all sectors of the gay community and outside the community and politics and many of these um, organizations because, you know, I had to deal with them. And uh, my approach to the uh, RPOD Miklo suicide is, look, it happens. In the porn industry, a lot of porn stars have been killing themselves or have gone on rampages and all that. There's a lot of drug use. i seen it myself. I went to some of these parties where there were these, um, you know, these, these hot guys, porn stars. I, don't, I wouldn't call them porn stars. It was uh, from a Latino website. And uh, being that I'm into Latinos, you know, I, you know, that's my thing. Uh, I was invited to this party by the webmaster, and we got together, and there was all this drug use. I mean, there was shooting up, smoking crack. I mean, we're not talking about pot. I mean, pot's nothing. I understand that, but they, they were not doing pot. They were shooting up. They were they, they were doing the whole thing. They were doing meth, cocaine, and all that. And that's how they were being paid. You know, they were druggies. And when you see their porn, i seen their porn. You know, I see porn every once in a while. You know, I, I'm not a prude. I see porn. I was doing underwear modeling when I was young. I, I, I've, I have no shame about my body. I have no shame about uh, watching porn. I watch porn with other people. I don't care. Yes, I jack off to porn. I do it. Now that I'm a single, yes, now I do it more often. I'm I'm a human being. But the thing is, I also as a human being, I have an opinion. My opinion is that there was a lot of things involved. And I guess, I'm trying to stress here, I guess that there were drugs involved that made Arpon Miklos kill himself or other things. You know, I mean, the porn industry is very sad. It's a sad lifestyle in many ways, unless you're very thick skinned. And I met a lot of porn stars. I met um, Ron Jeremy. I, I met uh, Lexington Steele, the guy with Big Dick. I mean, he these guys are thick skinned. I mean, these guys are hard headed. I mean, nothing penetrates them, <laughs> and they penetrate others instead. Uh, but these guys are thick. Not only with their dicks, but their thick skin. I mean, they can handle it. They can handle this lifestyle. You know, they don't do drugs. They they lay out the alcohol. Uh, you know, they take care of themselves. They they make sure they don't get AIDS and all that stuff. They get checked. You know, maybe Arpan Miklos had HIV and he found out he killed himself. I don't know what happened. But but, but always you'll see that trademark or that 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 fingerprint of. Drugs were involved, drugs were involved, drugs were involved. And when you have drugs involved, people act weird. Their whole psychological viewpoint changes and they become different people. I've seen that happen with my own friends. I had friends who killed themselves because of drug use, okay? Why did they start using drugs? Well, because they had mental issues. And some people that go into porn have issues. I'm not saying that every 
gay porn star there has issues. I met many gay porn stars that are fine people. They're intelligent, and and um, and that's that. I mean, you know. And I'm sad that he had to kill himself. He shouldn't have done that. And I'm not trying to make generalizations here. Okay? I'm just saying, based on my experience, it's a probable cause that this is what happens. It's like when you try to investigate a crime scene. The detectives will say, well, usually, right, this is what may happen, but we're going to investigate. If you have a dead body in the middle of a ghetto, let's say of a Latino community, because I lived in those ghettos when I was young, and a Latino ghetto community, what do you think might be the cause? And then you see the dead body, the dead guy, shot to death, blood all over, and he's wearing baggy pants. What do you think? It's gang related. He may not be a gang member. They may have mistaken him as a gang member. In fact, I had a relative of mine who was shot because they thought he was a gang member. He was not involved in gangs except that he liked to wear the, that type of attire. And he was shot dead at 13 years old. In fact, there's a news report about it. I'll, I'll bring it up one of these days. I talk about gun violence. But the thing is, is that I'm not generalizing, but the thing is, is that many of these types of incidents where you have a porn star, gay or straight, who are doing drugs, they end up doing weird shit. They end up doing, you know, jumping off bridges or killing themselves or others. And you've seen all those reports, you've seen all those news stories about porn stars going to their studios and mowing down people or chasing them with machetes. You see all these weird stories and you ask yourself, why does this happen? Why are a lot of these porn stars on antidepressants and they suffer anxiety and, and all that? Well, because there's a stigma as well and you have to view that. And it's not coming from me. People are venting off on me for the stigma uh, that society plays. I'm not society. Although I belong to it, I'm not the one dictating, hey, let's stigmatize uh, uh, adult performers. I'm not saying that. I, I, it, It's just an honest living. That's what I think it is. I don't really care if you're a porn star. If I had a school, I will hire you as long as you know how to teach kids and you, you keep that to yourself. It's not a big deal. But parents freak out when their kids are being taught by a porn star. Reasons for, I don't know why, there are various reasons. They think that your character is flawed, that your mor your morality is flawed, or I don't know, that you're a cheap whore. But I think that a lot there are a few porn stars out there who view this as an art or whatever, fine. You don't care about the money. I know people like that. I know a lot of people in porn. And they tell me stories. They tell me, you know, all of it, drugs, the alcohol, most of it's drugs, the, you know, and the crazy lifestyle, the, the people that are unstable, you know, the, the people who, and then you have the, the jealous boyfriends and all that. I mean, you have it all. And I don't know what exactly happened with Miklos. I don't know what was in his head, why he, he exactly do it. I mean, there are the theories out there, but, you know, I'm just laying out my two cents. I'm not here to, you know, cause any, you know, rockets or anything, but hey. Like I said, I'm controversial. I'm not going to uh, say things just to please you. I'm saying things to please me, <laughs> okay? You know, because I found what I said relevant. I'm sorry that if you're offended. But that's what it is. Oh, well, what can I say? You know, I, I say what I say. But uh, I'm not judging Miklos. I'm not saying that he was a bad guy. I'm not saying he... he I, I looked at him. He's very attractive. He's not my type of guy. I'm just saying. But he's very attractive. He has nice. He has a nice dick. He fucks really good. Hey, he's a good porn star. He's a good performer. I really like him. But I right now, since he just died, I wouldn't want to watch you know, you know, a scene with him in it because it's kind of creepy that I jack off to a porn star that just recently hung himself. 
or killed himself. It's just, you know, it feels kind of creepy. <laughs> uh, but uh, rest in peace. I mean, that's all I can say. Poor guy. Uh, but he shouldn't have killed himself. There's no reason to kill yourself unless there's something else that made you impaired, which could have been drugs, which could have been anything else, or emotions, or some mental disorder. I'm not here to stigmatize anybody. I'm just laying out the truth based on my experience, based on things that I've read, people that I talk to, the people in the industry who told me all these stories. So that's all I can tell you. And no, because yeah, there's a lot of drug use. It doesn't mean that every porn star is a druggie or a drug user. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that it's, there's a lot of drug use within that industry. Okay? Just like when we say about the Catholic Church, there's a lot of pedophilia going on there. It doesn't mean that every priest and every bishop and every monsignor is fucking a kid. No, we're not saying that. All right? So there you go. That's all I would have said about that.